let's talk about the histogram. Understanding and being able to read the histogram is a vital part of getting good photos. And that is not only true for editing in Lightroom or Photoshop, but also when photographing, because chances are high you can enable the histogram on your camera as well. Let's assume you already took some images and imported them into Lightroom. Under the Develop tab, in the top right corner, you will find the histogram. But what exactly does it show you? The histogram is a graphical representation of all the tones and colors in an image. On the right end, you will find the brightest parts, while the left end shows you the darkest parts of the photo, and in between, you find the midtones. This way, by just seeing the histogram, you can already get an idea of how the photo will look like. Is it dark? Is it bright? Does it have high contrast? But not only will it tell you about the brightness of your picture, it will also indicate when there is image clipping occurring. In other words, over or under exposure. Let's say you accidentally overexpose the image. This means you're losing details in the brightest parts of the photo and thus you are clipping the highlights. In Lightroom, this will be indicated by a small icon in the top right corner of the histogram. But this is also obvious when the peaks are pressed against the end of the graph. Depending on how strongly you overexpose, details can still be restored by adjusting the image in Lightroom. But at a certain point, all details will be lost. This of course goes in both directions, with clipping in the dark parts being indicated by an icon in the top left corner of the histogram. Keep in mind, underexposure is usually easier fixed than overexposure when working with digital images. Another important thing to remember, not all clipping needs to be fixed, especially when shooting sunsets with the sun in the image. It's impossible to not overexpose the sun while still having details in the rest of the image. This means there will be a tiny fraction of clipping in your photos, but in this case, that is okay. If you want to get a better idea where exactly the clipping is occurring in the picture, simply click on the icons in the corner of the histogram. Or alternatively, hit the J key. Being able to see the problematic areas in the image will help you decide if it's worth fixing it. Generally speaking, a well-exposed image has a spread out histogram, almost like a bell curve. However, this is not a set rule and slightly under or overexposing on purpose is something that happens regularly with landscape photography. Now let's put this into practice. As I just said, with landscape photography, you do want to over or underexpose images on purpose sometimes. In this case, this image tends more to the bright side and is very slightly overexposed. Checking the histogram, you can see there is no clipping occurring, which is great, so we have all the details in the shadows and in the highlights. However, we do want to reduce the overall brightness to make the image just a little more pleasing. The most obvious thing I can do is to just bring down the exposure. And watch how the histogram change as I bring down the exposure. At some point you will see there is some clipping going on in the dark areas, so I can hit the J key to make it visible. Right now, the clipping in the shadows is in very tiny areas just here in the foreground. And for the overall image, this area is not really important. Still, if you want to fix that, there are a few different ways to do that. We could either bring back the exposure a bit, or we could simply raise the shadows slightly. And if that's not enough, we can always go to the blacks and raise them as well. Raising the shadows or the blacks will lead to less contrast, so this might not be the optimal option, so just keep that in mind. At this point you can see the histogram looks pretty good as it's spread out from end to end. However, we do have a little more room on the right side, which means I can brighten up the image a little more. We can do that by increasing the highlights and we can also use the whites to spread the histogram a little further. 
by the way, you can also make clipping visible by holding down the Alt key and adjusting the whites or black sliders. So let's assume I want to make the clipping in the highlights visible. I'm holding down Alt key and I adjust the whites slider and as I bring it up, you will see the clipping appearing in the image. The same goes for the black slider. I'm holding down the Alt key and drag the blacks down. And here you can see clipping in the shadows kicking in. Another thing to keep in mind, adjusting the white balance will also have an impact on the histogram. So if I turn up the temperature, you can see how the histogram is changing. And this obviously also goes on the other side. Next, I also want to show you my process of fixing underexposed images. With this shot, at first you might think it's clipping pretty badly, but when making the clipping visible, again, it's just in tiny parts of the foreground. In the previous example, I just showed you how to fix a little overexposed image by making use of the tone sliders down below. However, you can also play around with the profile settings. In this case, I can change it from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, and this should slightly brighten up the image. This is not much, of course, but every little bit helps. Now, after adjusting the profile, of course, again, the most obvious thing to do is to just bring up the exposure. And for shots like this, that really helps to restore the image, as you can see. Now, although the image looks much, much better, we still have a bit of clipping going on. So what I'm doing now is to hold down the Alt key and just click on the black slider. And you notice the clipping is pretty much unnoticeable at this point. Still, if you want to fix it, just bring up the black slider. And at this point, the clipping is gone. The histogram looks also much, much better. But when looking at the image itself, it's kind of strange because the contrast is just a bit weird. How do we improve that? Simply by adding some more contrast. In this case, I'm bringing down the shadows. And again, there is clipping starting to kick in. However, for a better overall image, as I said earlier in this video, a little bit of clipping is okay. Then again, looking at histogram, we do have a little room for some more brightness. So let's try bringing up the whites. And also at some point there is clipping appearing in the image. So I don't want to have that. So I'm pretty happy with those settings. Keep in mind, those are just the very, very general adjustments. Usually there is a lot more going on, especially with a bit of masking. So I would just make the sky a lot darker, add a lot more contrast locally, but this will get you started with the basic setup for the exposure. All right, and that was it for the beginner's guide to the histogram in Lightroom. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have still any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.